Today I'm wearing Novent's self-contained virtual reality training and gaming system. Now this system is fully self-contained, you can use it inside or outside, and it can be used with any game or training simulation software. So what I'm going to do in this video is take you through piece by piece to show you what the system can do. And to get you started with an initial demo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this dummy grenade and walk up to it. And while I realize you'd never have a real soldier do this, what's, uh, what's going to happen is the throwing motion is going to be detected by the ZO arm and it's going to cause the character in the game running to throw the grenade. I'm going to walk up to it, just like in the character in the game will walk up, and when the grenade explodes, I'll feel it in my chest. So, put on the head-mounted display, throw the grenade, walk up to it, and then I felt it all across my chest. So, now I'll show you what the rest of the system can do. Novent's system is designed to be extremely simple and cost-effective, yet highly immersive, allowing users to hold actual weapons and move using their own body while being able to feel realistic 3D haptic force feedback. All the components are integrated into Novent's FGen software, allowing the system to work with any game or training simulation software. This diagram shows the various components of the system, which I will now go through individually. You can put on the vest in the backpack. Just kind of by slipping into it here. And then we'll uh, two vest zippers. We'll put on the the Zio. And then we'll connect the M4 rifle prototype. The system is set up to be able to be used with either a head mounted display or with an external monitor or projector. So right now this is showing the Buzix eyewear with the track IR for precision head mounted tracking. So you can see in the display that I can, you know, look fully around, real precise head tracking. So the Vuzix allows for full 360 degree viewing in the in the completely self-contained system. The uh, external projector can be used if you want to use it in a room where more more people can view the system at, at one time. To add to the experience of the external display, we also have the system working with Nvidia's 3D stereoscopic glasses. So you can run either the head-mounted display or the external display with 3D stereoscopic vision. One method of aiming that we added before implementing the, the aiming into the ZO arm is using track IR. So we have the track IR camera mounted here on the shoulder. And it looks, I have three marker dots on this red dot site right here. So in the game, you can, you can aim with the, with the marker. Instead of using the track IR though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this and I'll show just using the ZO arm itself. And in this case, we can bring up our arm, and when we bring up our arm, then we have, you know, really, really precise aiming built into the arm itself. Commercial version of the ZO, when we bring our gun up to shoot, it's going to have force, high fidelity force capability, so that when we shoot, we'll feel that recoil comparable to the Novin Falcon so that we'll be able to feel things that damage, recoil, pick things up, feel their weight all through the ZO arm. Another thing we can do is you can navigate directly with the, uh, with the system. So this right here is an accelerometer that we can use to detect walking. So if, I'm, if I just walk with my legs, it'll have me walk through, through the scene. If I want to run, I can just start running. And then as I'm running, the accelerometer, there's an accelerometer on my back and it's detecting the running motion and making the character in-game running. We can do running, we can do jumping, you, you know, any, any type of interaction you want to do in the game, we can you know, simulate with our body to, to have the character do in the game. Another thing you can do with the ZO arm is you can uh, trigger movement. So if we want to do a melee knife attack, for example, we can we can slash with the knife, or if we want to throw a grenade, we can rotate, like we're going to throw a side pitch. 
so we can tr we can trigger other events too if we wanted to do uh, bomb defusal. We could do two ZO arms. You could uh, you know pretty much have one to one movement of the ZO arm with whatever you want to do in game to actually let you control the player with one to one realistic movements with the addition of, uh, of high fidelity touch. This is the M4 uh, rifle prototype and this has, has analog sticks built into the side so it has analog sticks on both the left and right side for, for movement and navigation. It has another analog stick and a mouse wheel tied into the front here. So as you can see it's tied to navigation so I can move forward and back, I can strafe left and right, crouch, I can jump navigate around, I can scope in, shoot with the trigger. This is the M9 pistol prototype. It has a mouse functionality built into it, so it's got left, right, middle mouse, and a scroll wheel. And in the game, we can just use it as a, as a gun mouse. So this is the Zio Combat Knife Prototype. It's a rubber training knife that can be snapped directly onto the Zio arm for, for training purposes. And uh, right now it has a quick connector at the base. We could also put one on the hilt if we wanted to do combat knife training. We could also remove the quick connector completely if we wanted to have more hot swap ability for, for quick changing of different weapons.